<laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now trying to figure out what the hell he's gonna do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. <laughs> Just my love. You stopped a lot of money from changing hands by breaking up Santini's little gun sale. So you took out Simmons' thing at the dump? Huh? You're gonna be running this town before long. That's a big help.
Huh? You want me to get someone in here to Ain't clean that up? Ain't nothing here. Nah. I might want to beat up on him some more. Could be a place here for you and those weapons you're bringing in. How about it? Not how I expected this to turn out. Welcome aboard. I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. My men can secure this district with one eye closed. That's not a problem. The problem will come if you try to take it away from us at our next sit down. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst bit. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Jesus Christ, <laughs> I'm gonna show you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Doc Alenzo. <sighs> All right. Tile this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're a mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. 
Why the f*** should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And his shit with the casino. It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no id. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear... Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble.
Got it. They teach you that in the army? Nope. Sunday school. Back in the day, I'd have been out there fighting alongside of you. Or going up against me. <laughs> I told you that, that wouldn't have been good for you, son. Just shut the fuck up. Damn! Cut that sack of shit! <laughs> Rice Paddy's beautiful, then grab a one-way ticket. But me and don't get ugly. Oh, you ain't oh, in Ohio. So much blood. Gotta get behind something. He's on yours, boys. <laughs> Stand. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You got all sorts of supplies in these trailers. Maybe something you can use. Okay. Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. That should do it. Kai's through here. God damn. You like? No, oh, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call.
Dropping. I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a bucket bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942, no, 43. You must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting to the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying, smacks him a bit, wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there cursing a goddamn blue streak. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her? She was passing through on her way to Hollywood. But it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla, the love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sal. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. 